Yeah. And so, so that was always on my mind. So my PhD was, I guess nowadays you would say it was on software architecture. So I was interested in theater at the time. So my PhD thesis was on developing a system for stage lighting control. So that was also a practical system. Uh, it, it, it sort of didn't, didn't seem very special to me at the time, but I kind of realized it was one of the few sort of pieces of end user, one of the few end user systems that were implemented uh, using functional programming. And um, so, so, so that was always on my mind. Uh, I kind of got fed up with sort of the, the, the research culture in Germany. And so I kind of had to leave for my own, <laughs> for my own sake. Uh, and I really wanted to see that get a more applied vision of and, and applied idea of how software development in the wild happens. So I was, uh, I left the University of Tübingen, I think in 2003, and was a freelance software developer for a while. Uh, I got in contact with a lot of projects and then uh, in 2010 joined the company that I'm still with to this day with, with Active Group, which is a software consultancy. And back then it was kind of a run of a mill consultancy, but we've transformed it since then into one that specializes on functional programming and functional software architecture. So and seeing if, you know, if all those funky ideas that we had from functional programming, all those ICFP papers, uh, you know, all those things that I'd encountered over the years, if, if they would actually pass the test of being applicable and useful in practice. And yeah, it's, it's panned out pretty well, I would say.